Good afternoon, this is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery slash Simpler Trading Free video, April 9th, 2024. What's this about? Sort of a reverting to the mean prior to the big bad CPI tomorrow. That's one side of the equation. The other side is really the bond market. We had talked about that we were going to play the markets on the downside if the bonds were down. Well, guess what? The bonds rallied and the stock market had a heck of a sell-off intraday. Intraday. So it did what we thought it would do, but we were too right. Just keep in mind in here what we're going to watch now. We're going to be watching this. We're going to be watching the bond market still. The long-term bond is good enough for me. If that gets up to this level, can reclaim that 118 and a half. Yeah, I could get all the way to this zone and then up to that zone. Sure, that would help the overall market, no doubt about it. And that's fine. Let it do that. On the other hand, the ES, we're going to be watching this. Same like the bonds. If the bonds break up, then I think this rectangle breaks up right here. If that does, it could get back all the way to what it gave up Thursday at the highs or even higher. Could go the width of this. Let me show you the width. I like showing width things right there. It could. That's 53 points. I mean, that's a rally 53 points intraday. It's not the end of the world. For, but this is the way I'm looking at it, though, is I have to look at a longer term perspective. So the longer term perspective to me is still, and I'm going to clear the drawings, is still this, that trend line. That's right. It could rally all the way to the top of that trend line you see up there, all the way to here. And this could still be a bearish pattern eventually. But there's a couple of other things I'm going to be watching. Number one, it's going to be the MACD. Now I'm going to show you this with thinkorswim. It seems to work better. Now, I'm not bullish. I'm not bearish. I'm just here at the moment. But this MACD on the bottom is going to get back above zero. I see this on the right, but I don't trust it yet. Why not? Because it's not under any moving average. So that's what the big kahuna is going to be if certain things get under moving averages. So let's say beggars can't be choosers, and we're not going to talk about the 50 SMA. We're going to talk about the 20. SMA. That's the purple line. And we're going to look at a lot of different indexes. As you see, even with a rally, that's not the best looking chart in the world. Just keep that in mind. Not the best looking chart. A lot's going to depend on the bond market tomorrow. But I'm going to be watching. I'm going to clear the drawings. I'm going to be watching that purple line tomorrow. The NASDAQ purple line. The Russell purple line. Yeah, most of them have stayed at it. But the Dow has it. You're going to see the transports held it. So if one gets decisively above it, I think the rest will get decisively above it. Like I said, the big deal tomorrow is and into next week is if that trend line holds. That's what I'm going to be watching. So it should be exciting tomorrow. And definitely we have to see look for consolidation patterns after the opening. Up and down. Take care. Talk to you later. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Simpler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.